So here's another problem in paradise. Uh, this is a black sapote seedling. And I have been growing quite a few black sapote seedlings out so that I have some rootstock to graft some known varieties of black sapote onto. And out of all of the seedlings, I have quite a few. This is the only plant that has this problem. Uh, and the problem is a cottony cushion scale. And it's, it just looks weird, it, you know, in some uh, plants that might not be a problem, and like Jabotacaba at some stage sort of looks like that with its flowers emerging, but this is definitely a pest. Now, uh, sort of a normal way to treat this would be using agricultural oils like neem oil, spraying it with that, but since it's such a small plant, it's easy just to take off these, uh, these little scale insects and then this particular paper towel has uh, dishwasher, uh, dishwashing liquid on it and water. So it's just, a you know, I like to use a sharp knife because it just gets under uh, the scale. You can see it sort of gooey, uh, but you just want to take it off take off as much as you can. Look at that. Uh, yeah, delicious looking, yes. Some types of scale can just pop right off with a knife, but this is, is the ooey gooey form. Uh, there we go. Sort of playing with it. It's like uh, um, like chewing gum practically. Oops, that one relocated it. There we go. And then we have another whole level here. Sometimes you can just blast these uh, insects off with um, a strong stream of water, uh, but with this young of a plant, I just prefer to, to get it off um, of this method. This is, they like to, to find the most inconvenient places for me to get them out. It's, it's like two, it's like a fork here in the, in this, particular part of the tree. Nice little hiding places for it. Just get all that ooey gooey stuff out. Yeah, a surprising number of, of scale insects in that small area. This was definitely their preferred place. It's a nice little protected area for them until the knife came along. Oh, there's still a little bit up here. So I'm just going to fold that over, start seeing what I can get with the paper towel itself. This is just the wet one. And check the undersides of the leaves, too. Those are little small ones. They'll grow if they're left there. There's some more. So if you try getting it off either, uh, you know, this kind of way or some other, you know, spraying it or whatever, that doesn't work. Then you can go to neem oil or other agricultural um, oil products. And, uh, and if that doesn't work, then you step it up to malathion. But I don't use the nasties. I just try to get rid of it in sort of the simplest way, lowest impact way possible. 
So I've gotten most of the scale off. Uh, it, you know, what's left on there could be dead, um, but even so, oh, here's, this is, I don't have a, this is just a part of this uh, plant that died back, but it looks like it has a live scale on it. So just take that off. Uh, it's not gonna live on the ground, so it's okay to, to throw it down there. Um, so got off most of the scale. This is the one with uh, some environmentally friendly dishwashing uh, liquid. And I'm gonna just wash off pretty much the whole tree. Sometimes there can be eggs on uh, parts of the tree that you don't really see. Uh, just get it all. This is, you know, there's so few leaves involved here that it, it really is not gonna make a big difference. And there is, uh, it also the, it's easier to get things off with, with soap because, you know, things sort of get slippery, slip right off. But it does provide a little bit of protection temporarily for the tree. Uh, even though I think I'm getting every last bit of this uh, infestation, uh, I'm going to separate this plant from the rest of the black sapote seedlings and so I can watch it and treat it again if necessary because uh, you know while it's not a big deal I'd rather you know just watch one plant than to watch you know like 20 or 40 of them so anyway that's my first go-to way to handle cottony cushion scale on black sapote.